I've yet to make a video about British arenas of any kind, and I've also been getting a lot of requests for ice hockey videos. So I thought two birds, one park. The elite ice hockey league arenas, let's check them out. SSE Arena Belfast, Belfast Giants. The arena is not far from where they built the Titanic, in what they call the Titanic Quarter. However, it's anything but a sinking ship. I think it's doing quite well. Outside we have an interesting mix of red bricks and blue tiles. The interior is a pretty conventional modern design. There is however one aspect that sets it apart, and that's this arch at one end. Okay, that's nothing special, but it's different. There's also a lot of lit up advertising hoarding, which doesn't look the best, but it's a decent venue overall. Ice Arena Wales, Cardiff Devils. You definitely wouldn't see a name like Ice Arena Wales in the city that built the Titanic. Uh, cause it's not in Wales. This has a more modern exterior made up of different shades of grey. Inside it's a pretty straightforward symmetrical layout, but the facilities are top notch. You've got a decent sense hung video board up top, and overall everything seems to be in perfect condition. It is under 10 years old after all. Skydome Arena, Coventry Blaze. In case you were planning on visiting the IKEA that you can see next door, don't bother, it's closed down. Now where will the people of Coventry get their affordable horse meat? The sleek metallic facade lulls you into thinking it's a new venue, but once inside, you can see that it is perhaps a little dated. Maybe it's just a lack of video boards. It does however have quite an interesting seating layout. In particular, these corner sections of premium seating. Dundee Ice Arena, Dundee Stars. In some parts of the world, there are hockey arenas that look like grandiose cathedrals, which is nice, but personally, I prefer arenas that look like a discount cash and carry, as is the case here. No, it's just the signage that makes it look like that. Inside, it is quite apparent that it has the smallest capacity out of all the arenas in the league. There's seating on just three sides of the ring, and just these rudimentary scoreboards at each end. But at least it doesn't look like a cash and carry on the inside. Fife Ice Arena, Fife Flyers. The Flyers are the oldest ice hockey team in the country. The reason they've stuck around for so long is that no matter how bad things are going for them, they always keep Fife. This only has the most old school exterior of the lot. It was after all opened in 1938. So the oldest team fittingly has the oldest home. And yeah, it does look its age. It hasn't really been kept up to date. To be fair, the town that it's situated in has just 50,000 people, which is small even by Scottish standards. Brayhead Arena, Glasgow Clan. Despite having a Scottish surname, I think the only thing I know about the Scottish clans is that you should never trust a Campbell. And that's fine by me because it's not even that difficult to make your own soup. Fittingly, Glasgow's arena has plenty of glass. The interior looks just as good. Interesting how the double tiered seating along the sides transforms into a single tier at each end. That seems like an ideal layout. I also like that the walls are matching the clan colours of purple. Guildford Spectrum, Guildford Flames. This too has some rather nice glass work that makes up the exterior. The arena is actually just one part of a big leisure complex, which includes 10 pin bowling and even a water park, I guess you'd call it. Which is kind of ironic considering that water is famously the arch enemy of flames. Inside it follows that water park aesthetic, with those aqua coloured seats and walls. A little bit unusual, but I think it looks pretty good actually. Altrincham Ice Dome, Manchester Storm. Although it mightn't look like anything out of the ordinary, this arena is one of the most unusual in the league, because despite having been built in the 21st century, the roof is wooden, and there's plenty more wood throughout the building. The main reason for this is that most of the building was actually built in Finland and brought over to Manchester. It sounds too crazy to be true, but having been there, I can confirm that Finland does have trees, so the story checks out. 
I believe it was potentially going to be temporary, but it's here to stay now. Motor Point Arena, Nottingham Panthers. This exterior isn't anything out of the ordinary, but what is a little unusual is that it was built on the site of a former cemetery. Well, the car park was. I suppose in the middle of a 1400 year old city, there's a pretty good chance that if you dig, you're gonna find something. They also found an 1100 year old jug. Archaeologists were surprised to find traces of Ribena. The interior is pretty impressive with its steep symmetrical single tiered seating bolt and a separate section of premium seating up top. It must make for an intimidating atmosphere. Utilita Arena Sheffield Steelers. We end with the largest arena in the league, and perhaps one of the best. Come to think of it, it's very similar to Motor Point Arena on the outside, but inside it's more of a double tiered horseshoe layout, optimized for concerts, which I imagine are the biggest money maker for all of these arenas. For some reason, people are willing to pay thousands to watch Ed Sheeran rap. Back in my day, we had, well, it was. It was Ed Sheeran then as well, actually. So those were the elite ice hockey arenas. My favourite of the lot would probably be Brayhead. Great venue. If you're new, please consider subscribing. There will be more hockey videos to come. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.